Welcome back. The only method which is not implemented in the person JPI repository which is present in the JDBC DAO is the find all method. So I would want to find all the persons who are present in the database. How do I do that? With an entity manager, you have to write something called a HQL, Hibernate Query Language. So this is not really your SQL. In SQL, we would say select star from person. But with JPA, you need to write a query using something called JPQL, Java Persistence Query Language. So in this step, we'll use JPQL to define a simple query. Instead of directly defining the query, we will use a concept called named query, where we will give the query a name and use it. The way you can execute a named query is by saying JDBC template dot, actually not JDBC template anymore, it's entity manager dot. What we want to create is a named query. So we would want to give the query a name and use it in here. And I would give this is find all persons. I'll give the query a name as find all persons. When we create a named query, we need to tell what kind of entity it would return. So this named query would return person dot class. What I'll do is I'll not return it here. So let's remove the return. Let's assign the statement to a new local variable. So this is a named query. To get the results out of the named query, what we need to do is named query dot get result list because we are expecting a list of persons as the return so that's what we need to do and i can now return this back thing is we have not really created the named query yet so where do we define the named query the named query we can define it on the entity for which the query maps to so here i can define a named query i can say named query java persistence and over here I can say name of the query is this and the query to use is JPQL, Java Persistence Query Language Query. The Java Persistence Query Language does not use database. It does not use tables from the database. It uses the entities. So what we would use here in the query is entities. So here I would want to query person. So I would want to get all persons. Query is very simple. Select P from, so I'm saying select all persons in here. So here, instead of the table, this is actually referring to the entity person, which is present in here. Now, let's go to the JP repository. Let's organize our imports. And let's go to the JP demo application. And let's print find all. And I can remove this comment. This is no longer needed. Now let's see if it prints all the users. There you go. Since we are calling find all at the end, it's printing the latest data which is present in the table. So ID 1, Tara, 10,001, Ranga, 10,003, Peter. Those are the rows from the database that are being printed. We are using a named query to get the values from the database. We use JPQL to write the query. In last few steps, with very little effort, we were able to migrate all our DAO stuff, which was written by using JDBC or Spring JDBC, to our person JPA repository. So whatever we are doing in the DAO, now we are doing in the repository, the JPA repository as well. Until the next step, bye-bye.